thing Max was fighting. What was it? Max and Steel sent me a complete scan of the creature. It's like nothing we've ever faced before. Techno-organic stitches, an amalgam of different body parts, different abilities. Seems to possess the primary power of reactive adaptation. Reactive adaptation? Its body has the ability to instantaneously replicate the powers of whatever threat it is fighting against. So you'd never be able to fight it the same way twice. It'd be able to use your own powers against you. It's virtually indestructible. It's... It's called Project Morphos. It was a doomsday weapon to be used when there was no other options left to us. It was Entech's last desperate measure. It was never supposed to be activated. And Max is out there fighting that thing on his own. <sighs> Curse you, Dredd. What have you done? What is it, Berto? It's Max. He's here. Just screened in at Entech security checkpoint. Well, that's a relief. Functions initiated. Cognitive systems online. Fear sensors. Freaking out! Max, you awake? Max, where are we? Max! Wakey, wakey! Ow! Get up! Ah! This is no time to be unconscious! I am not unconscious! Ow! Huh, so that's what that feels like. Where are we? Don't know. Some kind of interference is blocking my positioning signal. The good news is I'm not reading any other life forms. Then what do you call that? Get ready. Go? I wouldn't go turbo in here. I don't think the roof can take it. Dad? Jim? What is this place? Right now, as far as you two are concerned, it's a medical bay. Back on the table. When I found you, you were in bad shape. Dad, Miles Dredd is back. And he's not alone. He's created a monster, Morphos. Morphos. He can copy our modes. And use your own powers against you. You know this thing? Worse than that, I helped conceive it in this very ship. Ship? You know that I come from another world, the planet Tachyon. We are sitting inside the spaceship that first brought me to Earth. It was here on Earth where I met Forge, Miles Dredd, and your mother. Together, we founded Entek. But this was also the place where we developed Project Morphos. The intergalactic conqueror known as Machino was coming to invade the Earth. We designed Morphos to destroy Machino in the event that we all failed. A way to save the rest of the universe, even if we couldn't save the Earth. There was just one problem. Morphos was too powerful. If he destroyed Machino, there was no guarantee he would stop there. Morphos could well become an even greater threat to the universe than Machino ever was. What were you guys thinking? Ultimately, Forge and I decided not to go through with it. It was too dangerous. Yeah, just ask my butt sensor. Morphos kicked it. Repeatedly. Never thought Dredd was crazy enough to do it. Oh, he's crazy enough. We've got to find a way to stop him. Stop Morphos. And the answers we need are here, in this ship. In the original Antec database. We just have to find them before it's too late. How did he find us? 
What took you so long? My transponder beamed out my coordinates hours ago. Not. Never mind. Carry on. Come on. You sure this is a good idea, Berto? Morphos can copy whatever comes his way. He does it with his stitches. That's why I amped up Cytro's defector shield. Morphos shouldn't be able to chop through it. You were right, boss. He is unstoppable. Well, at least there's one good thing. What's that? Things can't possibly get any worse. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? Can't get through to Antec. Same here. Nothing. Come with me. I came here because this ship contains enough power to protect the Earth from great calamity. I'd say Morphos qualifies. Antec originally designed Morphos to adapt to whatever powers were used against him. You guys do good work. But Morphos may have a flaw we can exploit. His uncouth table manners? No. His monstrous foot odor? No. He eats his own buggers? Even better. Morphos can only adapt to one power at a time. And that helps us how? You and Steel must manifest more than one mode at a time. Wait, that's not possible. You have only begun to understand what's possible. Whoa, whoa. Quoted for truth. What's happening to us? Great! The energy in this chamber is responding to you both. So much power! Power, sure. But what's power if it's not put to some purpose? Like impressing the ladies? Like saving the world. Well, well, well. The gang's all here. Forge! My old friend. <laughs> it's been too long. Not long enough, Miles. So, how do you like my boy here? How could you have gone through with this? Morphos means the end of everything. It means the end of you, too! Not the end of me, but most certainly the end of you, the end of Molly McGrath, and the end of Entech. And after that? Then what, Father? You promised me answers. Purpose! Promised you answers once my revenge is complete. I would have my answers now! You dare question me? <sighs> the energy in this chamber is responding to you, sensing the bond you and Steel share. This energy can strengthen your bond, unlocking even greater powers within you. Enough power to defeat Morphos? Enough power to master the universe. But let's start with defeating Morphos. Step onto the altar. Hey, any side effects to this procedure? I don't know. Never done it before. Wait, what? We're all searching for the key that will unlock our greatest power. Your bond is your key.
Genesis, we can take over the world! Why waste time with petty revenge? My petty revenge is the only reason you exist. But I am capable of so much more. <laughs> you did create him using your own DNA. So I think we know where he gets his stubborn stuff. Thank you kindly. You used your own DNA to create him? You shouldn't have signed your work, Dredd. I made you. I can destroy you. Nothing can destroy me. I hate it when family fights. Back to it, you little beast. Beast. I am just like you. on Max Steel, then I will give you the answers you seek. <laughs> so be it. What would you have me do next? Mr. Nort, have you located our next target? I've accessed the Entech personnel files. I have her home address. Excellent! Bring me the head of Molly McGrath! <laughs> Sydney, how are you? M Max isn't home at the moment. Actually, I uh, wanted to talk to you, if that's okay. Oh, um, sure. Come on in. Can I get you something to drink? <laughs> Water would be great. Mrs. McGrath, have you noticed anything weird about Max lately? Weird? No, not that I can think of. What do you mean, exactly? Well, have you noticed how he's always running off? Well, he is an actor. I mean, one minute we're sitting together talking about going to the movies. Well, that doesn't sound so weird. And then, bam, he says he has to give his grandma Tootsie a bubble tea bath and runs off. Well, Grandma Tootsie does enjoy her bubble tea baths. And he's always talking to himself. Always. Oh, all of us McGraths do that. Wouldn't you agree, Molly? Why, yes, I, I sure would, Molly. No offense, Mrs. McGrath, but something strange is going on around here. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I believe your son Max is actually- Sydney, I assure you, there is absolutely nothing out of the ordinary about Max or his family. <gasps> I, 
I thought we were supposed to, supposed to be stronger. System failure in seven seconds. We failed. I think we're in your head. Wait, then what are you doing in here? I think we're in our head. Are... are we dead? Well, if we are, at least we're together. Eh, that's good, because you still owe me five bucks. Strengthen your bond. Are you hearing your dad, or am I losing it? I hear him. It's... it's what he told us on the ship. Your bond is your key. Right! He said Morphos couldn't adapt to more than one power at one time. A flaw we can exploit. exploit. So now that Dad's given us the power, we need to combine the modes. Whoa. Turbo strength mode? Morphos got that already. Yeah, but I like strength mode. How about turbo clone mode? How about no? How about pest mode? You know, you're an expert at that. Oh, turbo cannon mode. Yes. And we could combine it with... Turbo Spike! Oh, Turbo Spike will be so cool! Steel, I like the way you think. Your bond, your greatest power. This is the key. Right, let's give this a whirl. Hold on to your hard drive. Go, Go Turbo! Can it! Fight! tell her who you really are. Well, it couldn't hurt to have a few friends along for the ride. We've only just begun to learn who you are. Both of you. Father, I have failed you. Disappointing, Morphos. Very disappointing. And here I had so much to tell you. So many answers. Yes. My answers. Give them to me. I could complete you with this one simple key. But you proved yourself unworthy. The key. Give it to me. No. Then I will take it. Oh, no. But whatever shall I do? Uh, don't hurt me! No! Yes! Finally! I am complete! I am... What? Ooh, that looks unpleasant. No! What is happening to me? Just a little fail-safe device I whipped up in case you became unmanageable. No! 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 What's the answer to your riddle? What are you? You're 
nothing. Absolutely nothing.